A tip jar. Really? So what am I supposed to do? Just duke you my change because you poured hot water through beans? Well, I'll tell you what, my friend. Unless you're also planning on giving me a complimentary reach around with my beverage, I'm afraid the answer is yeah, no. Here's, here's a novel idea. Why don't you go fetch me a very large cup of coffee with so damn many fake sugars in it that the coffee itself gets cancer? Um, Guys, guys, I got a good one. Is it me or does someone, someone need, need to, to switch, switch to decaf? Yeah. Lay off of Elliot. She doesn't watch as much old TV as we do. You actually stood up for me. But now I'm forced to ask. Who are you and what, what have, have you done, done with Turk? Stop finishing my awesome jokes! Oh my god. I can't do this all on my own. No, I know. I'm no Superman. Oh my God, did you stop for food? <gasps> we had to, honey. JD promised the band that we feed them. Yeah, let me get 23 cheeseburgers, 23 milkshakes. Miguel, if you don't stop drumming, you're not getting fries. 23 fries. You know what? 22 fries. 22 fries. You didn't think I'd do it, did you? I have an announcement. Miguel, please. Hey, baby, I know things haven't exactly gone smoothly so far, but I promise you I'm about to make it up to you. I spent all weekend talking to my cousin who just so happens to be the world's biggest blurred. It's a black nerd. Hi, yes, sport. Your skin is wingly. Yeah? Well, that shirt you're wearing is gay. <laughs> Seen JD? I have not. Any idea where he is? <laughs> Teaching CPR to underprivileged youth at Lincoln Middle School on 18th Street. I can't believe he got that. We are so ready for that charades tournament on Saturday. Come on, Turk. Where is he? You know, Kim, I'm sorry, but I really have no idea. Traitor! <laughs> hey, I got you something. It's a star. You can get them off this website. I named it after you. That's so sweet. Unfortunately, Kim was taken, so I tried Kim with two M's, Kim with three M's, Kim one, Kim two. What's it called? Freckle Fart 90. Aww. A freckle on my ass, my lactose intolerance, and the fact I graduated high school in 1990. Yes. That was so lucky. My life is over. Oh, come on. You gotta focus on the positives. For instance, the medical miracle that is one woman actually impregnating another woman. Shadezi. Coincidentally, I have a cousin named Shadezi. He's coming. Give me a box of kittens. Stack. side effects of kittens include sneezing, tiny scratches, and erectile dysfunction. All I ever wanted was to be a mother. And now that I am one, I feel like I'm not cut out for it. And you're ashamed of that? Well, wouldn't you be? Yeah, I was. What's the worst feeling you've had since you've had the baby? I don't know. When Jack wouldn't stop crying, I wanted to throw that bastard out the window. Really? I wanted to throw Isabella out the window. Yeah, but we just had our apartment repainted and all the windows were sealed shut. So I just wanted to drop her off the roof. Oh my God. Listen, you can't get rid of this by sheer force of will or positive thinking or taking advice from a big Hollywood movie star and the dead science fiction writer he worships. You need to get some help. Everyone had gathered because today was Carla's first day back since she had the baby. She's coming! This is not a drill! Repeat! This is not a drill! Remember, one group says welcome, one group says back, one group says Carla, okay? Get ready, let's go! Elliot? Fine, it was a drill, but I just want us to be ready. You gotta be oh, Hey, everyone! Okay, let's hear it! Back, Carla! It's okay, baby. No, it's not okay. One more time, go. Hey, everyone. Welcome back, Pickle! Who the hell came up with Pickle? I did. If you call Carla Pickle, then I can call Isabella Little Gherkin. I need this. Done.
Actually, babe, I'm just heading back home. It turns out my maternity leave doesn't end until next week. Oh, Pickle, I'm sorry. This thing is awesome. What's with all these kimonos? I don't know, but there is a stripper pole in the back. Carla's got some serious moves. She can even do an inverted spread leg pole spin. You know, if that's what they're called. It's not like I took a pole dancing class or anything. Nice cover. Don't touch the kimonos. Those are for Dr. Kelso's various masseuses. Ted, who's driving? Oh, my bad. Maybe I should drive so we don't all die. Now, can you? First off, I'm not a neonatal surgeon. Second, you ruined my road trip. And you just gave my baby to Rochelle, the only nurse to get kicked out of the nursery for using the baby as a ventriloquist dummy. I don't like being spanked. That's because you haven't found someone who's doing it right. <laughs> give, me, give me that. What's the matter with you? Gandhi, you damn sure want somebody in there if it was your kid. Come on, just do it. Knock it off, Rochelle. You know she's so lucky. Turk, you're the only one in the world who would think that. Milos is so lucky. That's what I'm saying. Brown Bear, thanks for spending so much time with me lately. I just feel like my whole life's in the crapper. Ah, oh, man, you'll turn us around. There goes Buzz and Donna off to the marriage counselor. Buzz feels inadequate because he lost his job at Foot Locker. Now his dingle won't work. I should not have given you the spy equipment for your birthday. Are you kidding me? I need it so I know when I can sneak over and use the can. And by the way, I'm using the front bathroom now because it has a hook on the door so I can hang up my pants. You finally started listening to me. You're right, my friend. Man is the only animal that wears pants during twosies. This is so unnatural. You actually lose consciousness. Carla, he pass out when he poops. <laughs> Buzz? Donna? How was counseling? Would one of you mind handing me my chinos? Turk, I need help. Buzz is mad. Damn, dude, you got it pretty rough. You hear that, everybody? I do have it rough, and that's coming from a man who knows a teensy bit about adversity. And why is that, Turk? Because I'm black. No, because you have diabetes. What's hard about being black? All right now, children. I know your shifts are over and you're all excited about going home, but first we're going to play a little game called Answer the Question Correctly or Stay Here Forever, Debbie. What are the neoplastic causes of hyperprolactinemia? Uh, ectopic tumor production secondary to renal carcinoma. Close, but no Siggy. You'll be staying here forever. Did you think that was a little too mean? No. Wrong. It damn sure was. You're staying here forever. And Kenyon, in turn, can you answer me this? Is it even possible to give the right answer in this game? No. Correct! Hey, baby. What are you guys watching? Football? Yes. Football? Isn't the season over? And then every male in the room fell totally in sync, resulting in the rarest of all phenomenon, the seamless, collaborative guy lie. The American season is over. We're watching Mexican football. They started late this year. Because of the churro vendors. They went on strike and the players wouldn't cross the picket line. When the dispute turned violent, they called in Rodrigo Vasquez, the owner of the Baja Panditos, to step in. Thanks to Senior Vasquez's experience dealing with the fruit pickers unions, he was able to broker a last-minute deal and the season was salvaged. And that's why we're watching football in the spring. Whatever. And then Turk gave us the slightest of nods, which was the universal man sign for Well done, men. She'll never know. Turk, what the hell? I need you to ask on a date right now. I never told you this before, but any time you hook up with a chick, she automatically becomes hideous to me. Really? Hey, guys. Have you seen Carla? Yeah, she just went outside. Thanks. I'm having a horrible frickin' day. I'll say. <laughs>